Hi, virtual students. Uh, welcome to Computer Graphics Technology. And today we are in uh, CET Freshman Experience. It's a compound of two classes. And in this environment, we have uh, students that are in the first year uh, of our computer graphics uh, department. And we gather different majors, web design, uh, um, human center design, gaming, animation, uh, construction graphics. Uh, the whole content of the class is already available online, all the lectures, all the projects. So you work at your own pace. Uh, we do have deadlines, but more or less a day, like, a day of class looks like this. People are working on the projects. We have uh, TAs and instructors working uh, with uh, students uh, like mentors. So we follow up on each, each individual process. So yeah, so welcome. And uh, right now I'm gonna, gonna do a, a little demo. Uh, we don't have lots of demos, but uh, for you and also the class, we'll do a face, face swap exercise in Photoshop. So I'm going to need three victims, I mean volunteers. Okay. <laughs> One, two, and three. Okay. So the three volunteers come, come over here to the white wall right over here. We're going to do a little exercise called the face swap. Photo montage is not that hard if you have the right pictures and also if you have exactly an idea or a sketch in mind. So we're going to start from Arlene. Okay. So in this case, I chose, because I'm taking the picture, I get to choose a background. So if the background is uniform, it makes your life a lot easier. And also you want to make sure that the orientation of your subjects is similar because if it's rotated, it won't quite work. Same happens with cars or anything that you want to blend. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. One, two, and three. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. All right, you know what I like about 2015? You have a complete media uh, studio here and here. Before you had to have so much stuff and now you really have high definition cameras at your uh, disposal. I'm gonna open Photoshop real quick. Okay, so I got my three images and I just dropped them in Photoshop real quick. Okay, cool. I'm going to use an image as a foundation. So, Michael is your name? Is Mike Michael? Okay, so I'm definitely using your eyes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to cut these um, polygonal lasso tool. And, you know, it's part of what we already started making. But you're now you're going to become a little bit more, um, but, sorry. Okay, I'm going to unlock my layer by double clicking on the layer. Sometimes that's a problem. And I click. I don't really have to worry too much about the quality of my mask for now. But I will choose the feather brush, like the soft brush, as an eraser. So that way, I'm going to get rid of the edges. And look at how easily, just by getting rid, rid of the edges without even doing any color balancing, I'm getting a feasible um, face swap, okay? The reason why it works so rapidly is because the human eye is very sensitive to edges. So if you see an edge and then you can actually uh, make that edge diffuse, uh, you, will, you won't have as much attention on that area. Now here, 
this is this exercise you don't have to do, but it's really fun, uh, especially for profiles and stuff like that, because it only takes you a couple of minutes. Okay, here, Ian. <laughs> Smaller. <laughs> So, so when you take your pictures, make sure that you have a similar setup. That's why it's better to have somebody take uh, pose. I'm actually gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna resize uh, the base picture. Okay. This one is going to be a lot harder. <laughs> yeah, this one is this one is going to take me a, a lot of blending actually. Ah, oh, what did I get into? Okay. I got an idea for this one. I'm going to do a patch. The patch is I'm going to use um Arlene's nose and put it over so that way I can work around that. And then there's different ways that you can mask as well. So one is the polygonal lasso, but then there's an, another way of selection right here that is this icon, which is the quick selection mask um, below left. So right here, if I paint with my brush, Everything that I'm painting, it's not that I'm painting red, it's like I am painting a mask. So I'm going to do, I'm going to select, you'll see, it looks like I'm painting, but imagine that you're painting a mask. And I'm going to make the patch, it, just, it doesn't need to be that big, just maybe just this, this much would be enough. Once you click the quick mask icon, Again, it will become a selection. So I can copy and paste. Oh, actually the selection, I'm gonna have to invert that because whatever I paint is gonna be the mask. So it means I wanna copy just the nose, select inverse. So that's just the nose, copy that, paste. Now I can bring the other ones up again. Bring and I'll label my layers. So this one will be nose. Put it over everything. So that helps a little. And now <laughs> and now I'm gonna have to do some blending because there's a, a strong shadow here. Um, what would you do, Carl? Um it de well, I mean, first time you might want to get rid of some of those edges, and then uh, if you want to just do it quickly, you know, you might just feather some of the edges. Like that might be the first quick, quick thing to do. Sure. It looks like the skin tones are all working pretty well together, but sometimes you might want to do some color correction on it. And then we went over in Photoshop Tennis. I think we went over things like the clone stamp tool and stuff like that um, that you can also use. You just need to make sure that you're working on the same layer if you were doing that. So, for example, we might make around here. I think the eyes you can color balance. Yeah, the eyes can use some color balance. So. Start using like the clone stamp tool around the eyes if I want to, to kind of grab some of the, you know, kind of freckle patterns and bring that into the eye area. But if you experiment with more of them, I think you'll be able to learn a lot very quickly just by playing around and experimenting with them. Um, you'll be able to learn a lot of photo manipulation techniques, which will be useful in this project and also just generally fun. <laughs> There's no single solution for your problems. That's why we're gonna be working more one-on-one -on -one depending on what your idea is. So that's why the concept brief uh, will be so important for you to bring uh, next class.